Look what just arrived. The Spoopy Tarot. Not Snoopy. Snoopy is a cartoon character that we can't talk about because it would be copyright violation. This is Spoopy Tarot. It's a kawaii tarot. So uh, the background looks weird um, over at Christina. So a little bit of a different venue here to unbox. Uh, okay, so it comes out the bottom. So here's the front of the box. Here is the back of the box. Now you notice this is kind of simplistic, but that's okay. All right, we'll open it up and see how this is going to look. Very cool. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty cool. Front, back, indifferent. All right. So, you know, it's always think? nice. It's always nice when they separate the uh, with the cardboard. Okay, spoopy tarot. Ooh, colored book. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I kind of like. Wow, that's a lot of text. Like that is. They're really serious with this text. So uh, yeah. Wow. Look at how much text you get. Like on the Eight of Cups. The card is a call to action. Eight of Cups is a call to action. Mm, okay. Uh, for which very few minor arcana cards are. Okay. Uh, anyway, A plus for the book. Wow. They went all out on the book, which is good because the uh, deck itself is kind of simplistic. All right. <laughs> Here's the, okay, this is a pretty casual review. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> like, this is not like super duper lighting, formal, or anything else. So, yeah, that's really simplistic. So, if you like the simplistic, there you go. There's not much to, uh, to lean on here as far as symbology. All right, here's the back. Uh, card quality is decent. Uh, it comes to here. It's okay. I like the back. Uh, full. Magician. High Priestess. I'm not sure what the vampire teeth on the High Priestess. Uh, yeah, mixed on that. Empress with a little bit of a witchy hat. The Emperor. It looks like Santa. More vampires with the Hierophant. So the High Priest, so any religious connotation, you get fangs. So that's always cool. Uh, any deck with fangs in it, Haunted House. Uh, it, is, it is a haunted... So this is another Halloween deck, apparently. Uh, the Chariots of Ball. Okay. Uh, all right. Looks kind of like an eyeball with a little... Okay. Uh, we have more with Strength. Hermit. Okay, the deck is not taking itself seriously, but that's okay. Um, justice card. Justice card kind of looks like the. Uh, kind of looks like the. Uh, where did that one go? Yeah, kind of looks like justice is basically the emperor reversed, I guess, or sideways, or lopsided. The bat, the hanged man. We got death card over here. Got the temperance. Um, what the world's going on there? Just like a cauldron? It looks like a cauldron. We have the devil over here. It looks like Halloween candy. Ooh, nice. It looks like the candy corn. Um, yeah, the corn, the candy corn. We have the tower with the Frankenstein look with the teeth. The star is a star. Night. Uh, I don't know what night is supposed to be. Um, okay, with the star, we have night. We have a full moon which is obscured by clouds. Pink Floyd reference, by the way. Any Pink Floyd people, raise your hand. Obscured by clouds. Okay, uh, Judgment with no E. A lot of people are pretty upset when there's no E in Judgment, I have to say that. World. Um, all right, so, yeah. Like, like really, really, really simplistic. Get the Ace of something. The Ace of what? Um, pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles? The ace. The ace of what? Uh, okay, we have the bat. We have knight, the minor arcana. Okay, pentacles. All right. So, yes, ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. We're holding it, holding it like that, I guess. Um, the two, the juggling of that. They kind of look like eyeballs. We have the three of pentacles uh, with a bag, I guess. Uh, uh, we have eyeballs in a jar. Which is my favorite, by the way. Whenever I go out, like you get fast food, eyeballs in a jar is highly recommended. Uh, five pentacles with the bug, with the many eyes. We have the six of pentacles with the giving of the, uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, we have a jar. We have a jar or a container of eyeballs. And the seven, we have a clock, apparently, with eyeballs. 
then we have a chandelier of eyeballs, then we have a bug with meeting another bug, like a bug standoff, then we have um, something, I don't know what that is, okay, so maybe there's a, there's somebody help me out here, okay, minor arcana, let's do the ten of pentacles, okay, uh, life is abundant when you draw the Ten of Pentacles as a ten card symbolizes the end of something. Okay. Uh, life is a gift right now. The card implies well, good in a relationship. I don't even know how that... Is that... This is the relationship here? Is that... What's the Nine of Pentacles? Why is that bug there? Paradise made for one and maybe a pet. It implies financial success, prosperity. Okay. Being asked to simply be in a moment. Okay. Uh, I guess. Page, a little bit of a happy Frankenstein. A little happy witch with the queen. The knight. Oh, wait a minute, did I just see? Oh, this king, sorry. Knight, king, okay, knight, and page. Uh, okay. Ace of, I assume that's cops. Gonna have to check. Gonna have to check. Minor arcana. We have the pentacles. And we have the cops. Okay. The Pentacles and the Cups. We have the Two of Cups. Looks kind of like a Christmas lights. We have um, the Three of Cups. Um, then we have the Four. I'm not sure what's going on here. A collection of things. We have Five. We have the Experiments going on there. We have some Spillage with the Experiments. The Six. Uh, collection, I guess. The seven, the eight, the nine. It's, I have no idea. I have no idea at all. What's going on here? Let's look at the Ten of Cups. Well, I know what the Ten of Cups means, but I'm not sure what the symbolism here means. Uh, let's look. Ten of Cups cards for marriage, a successful new partnership. Um, okay. Uh... Something is interfering with the picture-perfect happiness portrayed. Uh, okay. King of Cups with a clown aspect. Very nice. The Queen, the Knight, and the Page. Okay. This is the Ace of something. This could be the Ace of what? The Ace of Wands. Right. Ace of Wands, Popsicle. We have double two popsicles. We have three popsicles. Ah, ah, ah. We have four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, this is not just, you know. I should have, if they had shown the back of the box, probably would have picked this up. I gotta say, Sterling Ethos from New York made this, by the way. All right, we have the King, the Queen, the Knight, and the Page. Okay. Um, Ace, I think we got left is Swords. So the Swords are dog bones. Why are the Swords of dog bones? Is there an explanation? For why there are dog bones as swords. Let's take a look. Uh, Ace of swords represent mental breakthrough. No. Two of swords represents two equal choices forcing you into a stalemate. Okay. Mental struggle. Public card is not a value. Peace. Ooh, yes, peace. O-T-O. Uh, okay. Reverse card. Uh, just tell me why it's a dog bone. I don't know. Do we have Baxter or Brooklyn? We have Baxter over here. Baxter may be able to tell us why this is a dog bone. Baxter, I need your help. I need your help, Baxter. Can you tell me why that is a dog bone? Do you know? Could that be a mystery? Is it something that a dog could translate? Maybe you would have a deeper understanding than most people. What do you think? Baxter, what do you think, buddy? What do you think? Is there a dog bone? He says not interested. He's not interested. He's like, if that was an actual dog oh, bone. Oh, Ricky. He's an actual dog bone. No, Brooklyn wants to, no, Brookie just wants to give you lovings. All right. So, I, I don't know. Baxter doesn't know. I'm not sure that we're being able to solve this riddle today. But, 
it is a dark bar. So there you go. The two are the dark bones. We have three dark bones with a broken heart. We have a skull and dark bones for a four. We have a five with a more dark bones. We have a six, okay, and a seven, uh, eight, and a nine, and a, did you find some food back there? And a ten. What is she eating? And a, I don't know. Something on the floor. A queen, a knight, and a page. Not really sure with the dog bones. We could actually, we could actually. Now, we could actually experiment here. The two of the bones, we only have one bone, but we have a spectator here with Brooklyn. Brooklyn, what do you think the dog bones could represent? But what do you think? Do you think that is, do you think that's legit? Should there be two bones or should there be one bone in here? Do maybe you have the translation of this. I'm not sure. Anyway, not too impressed with the spoopy tarot. I'm kind of disappointed with it. Maybe you like it. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Thank you so much.